Mastery is the ability to allow others to experience their own light in your presence. Many of you are my mastery students from Level Up, etc., and uh, completely understand that that state of beingness, that presence, is the thing that transforms realities as well as the frequency around you. Rumi had a very good point in one of his stories. And he said the king. I'll use the king. I won't update it to queen. The king <laughs> chooses to put the warriors on the left. Heart and courage. And on the right, he puts the bookkeepers and the scribes taking care of business, right? But in front of him, the king places the master Sufi because in the Sufi's eyes, he can see his own reflection of his original state. And I find that so beautiful because that's exactly what we are becoming in mastery or what we're striving to be is to be such a force of the Christed frequency which I feel flowing through me right now. <sighs> to, be, to be standing so strong in that state that has no judgment, and that's why other people can see their true self in your eyes or in your presence, is because you're holding that vibration and you have nothing to do with what's wrong with them judgment, trying to fix them, trying to clear them and everything. That whole new age phase of, I see three beings in your field. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We're complete. No judgment. But it's time to move on. It's time to actually be this presence that kind of puts realities on autocorrect. Right? And you've probably seen that, the instant manifestation. It's like, whoa. Though, because you're interacting with the field in this direct way. We want to qualify the light. And, and those of you who took Level Up understand what qualifying the light is. So just a quick review. Everything. You're responsible for your frequency. But everything that you're putting into the field gets qualified with the Christed presence. And it's your own unique expression and really honoring that. So really knowing the true self and then everything you do. And you're going to catch yourself. That's part of mystery school practices. Yeah, that's why they call it practice. You try, mm, okay, let me requalify that light. And you can stop. This is a safe collective. You can pause mid-sentence and go, wait, let me requalify that. They all go, so everything is coming through here instead of through here, through here. You know, everything is getting qualified with that light. I want to do a, a really brief um, mastery practice just so you can feel what it's like to hold your vibration and interact. You know, that's the challenge. Other people, right? But remembering... <laughs> The remembering the original intention of mastery is the ability to allow others to experience their own light. I really want you to feel... JJ, can I steal you for a moment? I know you're willing. I'm not sure where to put this. Yeah. Come, come. My sister. I can't believe you're here. Yeah. It's so crazy. This so is all the way from Milan. All right. So we're going to do something, and before I ask you to partner up, um, here's, let me express the new way of being this, this Christed presence. Now, I, I love my sister, and maybe she's got a lot going on, right? Busy. I was complaining about the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Jet lag. Oh my gosh, my wonderful fashion industry is a million years away. Right. Okay. So, as the Christed presence, I'm going to ask you just, and again, it's you, your original state. Remember the king? 
He needs to remember his original state, so he's looking in, in the eyes of the master, because the master is like this. <sighs> Nothing but God, right? Nothing but source. So sometimes when lightworkers, starseeds, psychic folks, they're like, oh, I see this, I see this, blah, blah, blah. Stand. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> so we stand in our Christed presence, complete non-judgment, complete love. I'm not throwing love at her. I'm being the presence, divine neutrality, all the things that we go through, right? Honoring whatever she has going on because I see within her her original state, right? That's the sacred reflection. I want to make sure that I keep myself as that divine mirror. And with that in heart, I can speak to her, I can interact with her, I'm clearer, I'm more direct. There's no monkey business, right? It's just, I am. I am. Beautiful. So everyone, I want to try something. Everyone pick a partner and just, fit, just look at each other. You don't have to like get up. Just look at each other. <laughs> All right, settle down. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say three statements. And you're going to repeat the statements to each other. And just, don't, don't just say them. I want you to really feel that mastery that's stepping forth. Be in your sovereign state. Turn to your partner. I see your divine light. I am witness to your glorious presence. I am witness to your glorious presence. Infinite radiance upon your true heart. Infinite radiance upon your true heart. Beautiful. Now we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to speak, but you won't. You're going to emanate the frequency of those intentions. All right? So face each other again. I see your divine light. We're not repeating. Let's do it again. You're doing it silently with just the frequency and the intention through the heart. Here we go again. I see your divine light. I am witness to your glorious presence. Infinite love light upon your true heart. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. So the whole purpose... <laughs> Thank you. So the whole purpose of starting with something like that is not only to feel your own light and make that genuine, authenticity is everything, intention is everything, but to also kind of clear that feedback thing, the mind, getting used to feeling other people, right? So it's no more like, oh my gosh, <laughs> shield or whatever. Like this is unity consciousness. We need to step into that. So that is mastery. If you have ever met an ascended master from upstairs. <laughs> yes, okay. So a little after, yeah. Uh, they, uh, they do what, what I always say, they care, but they don't carry. Right? And I don't, I don't feel there's any master who has been in my presence who said, let me fix you. It's never because they see who I truly am. 
I was like, oh my gosh, imagine millions of ascended souls in the physical on this planet walking around with that state that it's like part of part of my my mission now it's like let's all do that because that leads to being in alignment with pure creation where you can collectively change realities